Hey everyone, it's Melissa from the Turtle Nail Salon. Today's video I'm going to talk about a subject that can be very uncomfortable for a lot of people. Mental health for me is really important. I mentioned in my Back to YouTube video that over the last year I had faced a significant health challenge. Everyone who's been watching my videos knows that I am an advanced artificial nail technician, which is a fancy term for I know a lot of techniques for doing nails. I'm also a first responder and I've been so for just over 20 years and I absolutely love it. I work for two different companies and I can see myself doing this long term. Uh, PTSD has also now been in the news a lot in regards to emergency services workers, EMS. Uh, police, RCMP, firefighters, physicians, nurses, dispatchers, corrections, search and rescue, tow truck drivers, and probably a lot of other professions within emergency services that I can't name right now. I always figured that if I ended up with a mental health injury that it would have come from the 20 years that I had spent as a pre-hospital health care provider. My injury occurred during my medical procedure when I was not provided with enough anesthetic. When I woke up during my procedure, it wasn't for long, but it was long enough to injure my brain. I heard sounds come out of me that I didn't think I would ever hear. I had a bad experience, but bad experiences don't always happen to everyone either. So I want those of you that are watching my video to know that it is safe to go to a hospital. Now I'd like to talk about recovery. Recovery is so important and it's no different than if you break a bone in your arm or your leg or whether you injure your brain. It takes time for everything to heal and for you to get better. My recovery started less than 24 hours after my injury happened. I reached out to patient advocate services and told them my story. And my advocate, I actually knew previously when he was a paramedic, and he worked incredibly hard for me at rebuilding my trust with the healthcare system. Four days after my procedure, I reached out to friends through social media, asking if anyone had experienced a traumatic event in their life and if they had gone for counseling or therapy, how it had helped them. Within minutes, my call for help was answered by two local paramedics. And to this day, I am forever grateful that they have reached out to me to help me. Eight days post procedure, my GP sent a request to mental health. While I waited for assessment, I was able to connect with a social worker through my husband's employee assistance program who specialized in trauma and PTSD counseling. 30 days after my GP sent the request in, I was assessed by mental health and told that because I wasn't a danger to myself or anyone else, I would be waiting five months for help. I kept advocating for myself because I knew I needed help sooner. When my downward spiral started in November 2017, I was immediately sent to see a psychiatrist. I was having trouble sleeping, flashbacks, dreaming about the procedure, and I was crying a lot. My brain was stuck somewhere between feeling safe and unsafe. That's a feeling that I can't describe to anyone. When I saw the psychiatrist and told her what had happened, her exact words were, this is sounding very much like PTSD. And then she said to me, no, this has been longer than 30 days. This is PTSD. I was pretty sure I had PTSD. Hearing it officially from the psychiatrist was devastating. It was then that my peer support paramedic reminded me that PTSD does not define who I am. December 22nd, 2017, I was assessed by the senior psychologist in our health region to determine what course of treatment would work best for me. I then started seeing a psychologist on a regular basis starting once every two weeks and now I see her once a week and we are focusing on exposure therapy in order to retrain my brain. When I do get sick, I try and manage my medical condition at home as much as I can. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. When my pain does get out of control, I have to phone for help and EMS comes and takes care of me. It took me a very long time to wrap my head around the idea that it was okay for EMS to come and take care of me. I think I felt that way just with my background as a pre-hospital healthcare provider. I have had amazing paramedics every time they have come to help me. The interactions with EMS was the first positive in-hospital experience 
that I had had, I always knew as a first responder that paramedics were there to answer the call for help. But for me, just knowing that they were there and because I knew so many of them, that in itself ended up being life-saving for me. I'm gonna talk about the positives now. I'm sure it's hard for some of you to wonder how can she have positives come out of such a bad experience? Well, I've got quite a few. Positives that came out of my experience was the amazing support that my family, my friends, my clients, and my peer support paramedics provided to me. Another positive that came out of this journey was Recovery Bunny. So this is Recovery Bunny. I bought her at Build-A-Bear in Saskatoon a week after my injury happened. When I initially bought her, she was just the bear. She didn't have an outfit, didn't have any embroidery. A week after I bought her, I decided that I wanted something on her that represented the help I was getting from the two peer support paramedics who did this on their own time. I contacted two paramedics who were in management that I had known for quite a long time, explained what had happened, the help I was getting, and asked if they had a small patch that I could have a recovery bunny. They provided me with a health region patch, but the patch ended up being too big, which I used on another one of the positives in my experience. What they did do for me is they provided me with the name of a local embroiderer that had the rights to their logo. So she made me this little patch. It's the logo for Regina EMS. And then underneath I had her add in hashtag I've got your back 911. You can Google hashtag I've got your back 911. There is a website started by an Ontario paramedic and she does awareness on her site. I went to Saskatoon in May and I brought Recovery Bunny with me because I had planned to get her an outfit at Build-A-Bear. I looked around, the girl that was working helped me as well as my mom, and I ended up in the superhero section and I found this shirt. So I bought this shirt. The girl uh, found this white sparkly tutu. So I figured it was a good match for Recovery Bunny. And um, I brought it home and I posted a picture on my private Facebook page. And uh, my husband asked me later, he says, do you know what the S stands for on her shirt? And I said, well, yeah, it's from the superhero section because she's, she's Supergirl. And I'm Supergirl. And he said, actually, the S stands for hope. And I said to him, well, all the better then for my situation. One of the other positives in my life is a weighted blanket that I made. And when I first made the weighted blanket, it was playing with the fabrics I had picked. And now it is full of patches from some local emergency services. I mentioned earlier that the paramedic managers had provided me with a health region patch. And it ended up being too big for Recovery Bunny. So I sewed it on the corner of my blanket. And then someone from Regina Fire and Protective Services heard my story and a patch from the fire department showed up in my mailbox. One of my nail clients is a Regina Police Service employee and she was able to get me patches as well. She got me one that she wears on her uniform as a police officer and also one from the K-9 unit and a historical patch. My sister works for the RCMP and one of my clients is also an RCMP officer and they were both able to get me RCMP patches. I have a love of Disney, so I also added on a Mickey Mouse patch onto my blanket to show that personal side of me. It's okay to have a mental health injury. It's okay to struggle. You're not alone. Talk about your mental health. I am not ashamed at having a mental health injury and I'm breaking the stigma. Thanks for watching this video. Love to you all. Bye.